What of SOS Family? So I know some of you guys are looking at the title like, what? Bodybuilding? Stack? Supplements? Strength over... Wait, am I on the right channel? Is this size over strength? Simon, you're... This is, this is not you. What are you doing, bro? Your strength over size. I thought it was all about calisthenics. Now, you guys may think I'm exaggerating on the response I may get, but no, legit. I, I... Listen to this comment that I got the other day. Ugh. Something in my eye. Oh my gosh. Channel name is strength over size. But you're doing bodybuilding? What the fuh? Not cool, man. What? What? Another comment. Another comment. Which, like, I don't even know how we got this idea. This is on my Planet Fitness workout vid. So now you're saying calisthenics can't build muscle? When? When did I say that? Like, like what? Really? I did I did one workout in the gym. All of a sudden, I just threw all of my values and all of my my thoughts on working out out the window. I just wow. I I just can't. I can't. I can't. I guess apparently me being strength over size just bans me for life from entering a gym from wanting to build some muscle. I could understand if I became a bodybuilder, but. I'm just trying to do a bulk, just a bulk, probably just one or two. Like, really, I am not actually trying, trying to become a bodybuilder. It's okay for me to want to build some muscle. I'm strength over size, not strength no size. Anyway, let's actually get into the point of this video. Jeez, uh, y'all are some funny people. So I pretty much got like four supplements, starting off with the whey protein. Now, honestly, I recommend this to like anybody who's training. I don't even care if you're doing yoga, running marathons, doing calisthenics, bodybuilding. Whey protein is just like, it's like a staple in like any workout regimen. Now, I may be wrong. You guys don't have to get whey protein, but for me, I just recommend it to anybody. It's easy. It's easy calories. And especially for me bulking, it is an easy source of protein that you can just drink down in like one minute or two minutes depends on how fast you drink now the next thing i got was something i contemplated on getting before but i just wasn't too sure about it so me starting this bulk and this feeling like my real actual first 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 actual bulk i went ahead and got me some creatine i don't know if it's gonna focus Yes, I got me some creatine. By the way, all the packaging is going to look the same because I got it all from CanadianProtein.com uh, for those of you guys who happen to care. Uh, and pretty much I was like, you know what? I want to see what benefits this is going to give me when it comes to the gym. I took one scoop already yesterday. I got to take my next scoop today. I, again, they, I hear that it's going to give me, you know what? It says, it says, it says increases muscle size when used in conjunction with resistance training regimen. I don't really believe this increases your muscle size, but I think it just helps you train better to, I guess, increase your muscle size, right? It's not like steroids. The way they made it sound, they made it sound like it's steroids. Uh, so pretty much I'm like, you know what? Let's see how this actually works for me. I'll take it for the entire duration. I'll finish all of this and see if I felt any better than before. Whatever, you know, creatine may not be for everybody. Now, the next thing I got doesn't really have to do anything with bodybuilding. Uh, I pretty much got my multivitamins. This is something I felt like I should have got like way long ago because my diet has never really been the best. And I know I'm missing a lot of vitamins. I know I'm missing a lot of vitamins and minerals. Uh, so I went ahead and got this. Hopefully, it will help my with my recovery. It will help me with just everything in general, like just the basic necessities that I need that I do not get in my diet, you know. So I went ahead and got my, my vitamin. As a matter of fact, I need to take I need to take my dose right now. <sighs> Bless. Anyway, I do recommend like it's multivitamins. I just re I'll recommend it. If you have a really, really like balanced diet, then I don't know. It's, it's, it's up to you. It's up to you. It's not a necessity like I would say get the whey protein when you're bodybuilding. The multivitamins just get if you feel like you need to. If not, then uh, whatever. Last but not least, I got the omega-3 fish oils. For one, I do not even eat a I don't even eat a lot of fish. I don't even remember the last time I had some fish. Like honestly, I know omega-3s, like those are essential fatty acids. And again, I'm not getting it from my diet because I don't eat a lot of fish. So therefore I went and bought them because I know it would benefit me in some way that I don't know. I haven't really done my research like I should have, uh, but I do know it is good. So I went ahead and got that. And that's my bodybuilding stack or just my fitness stack in general. 
right? Now, I know some of you guys are gonna say, oh, you should've got pre-workout. Like, how do you have a bodybuilding stack and not get pre-workout, guys? Uh, for those of you guys who know me, you guys know that my bananas are my pre-workout. And even even if I, if I don't have bananas, I would eat like my vector cereal, and that would be a good pre-workout for me. I'm not really a fan of the the, the concoctions that they make in these things because I, I, some people, I do my research and they're like, yo, they, they feel like they're tweaking, like their muscles or their body starts feeling like it's tingling and stuff. I'm like, yo, I don't think that's normal, bro. I don't think that's regular. Some people drink coffee for their pre-workout. Like, they don't need to get an actual pre-workout supplement, right? Pre-workout, honestly, to me, is not needed. It could be good for you, but for me, I've been doing for I've been doing this for like three years now, and I've been fine. I've made my gains. I am 165 now, and of course, I'll be showing my weigh-ins and everything in my bodybuilding and calisthenics series coming right back up pretty soon. Okay, I know I've been away for a while, but I've just been like, you know, testing the waters, testing the bulk, because I didn't want to come back and be like, hey guys, bodybuilding episode uh, one on my first workout, and then I, I'm like, I don't even like this, I don't want to bulk anymore, and then I quit. Like, I didn't want to do that. So now that I know I'm established in it, I just got to get my my schedule fixed and make sure I'm waking up early and going to bed on time and then yo the videos are going to be coming and of course it's bodybuilding with calisthenics so uh, it's going to be a little bit different this time last time I did bodybuilding with calisthenics I actually used calisthenics to bodybuild or, or, or whatever to build some muscle now I'm actually just in the gym and I'm doing calisthenics on separate days so I'm still doing bodybuilding with calisthenics but I'm not using calisthenics to bodybuild if that makes any sense I'm just mixing the two together which should inspire some of y'all to be able to go to the gym and do cast tanks and make gains in both realms of your uh, fitness life, okay? So you guys will see what I'm talking about. Cast tanks life videos will be coming back again. I was just testing out my new workout regimen, so I wasn't really in the recording mood or in the recording, you know, mindset. So now I'm going to be getting back into that and everything should go back to normal uh, next week. For sure, for sure, for sure, for sure. Anyway, I hope y'all enjoyed the video. You guys comment down below any more supplements you think I should take besides pre-workout because I am not buying pre-workout. And yeah, I'm excited. I'm excited to see where this goes, where this boat goes, man. Anyway, stay blessed. I'll talk to y'all next time. I am out of here. Done.